Well, feta has been enjoying a lot of popularity these days, mostly because of the baked feta pasta. But besides eating it raw or uncooked, there's another way that we can enjoy it. By that, I mean marrying feta with roasted peppers to create together a roasted pepper feta dip. So today I'm going to teach you how to make it and my preferred way of serving it. Let's go! To balance the feta's saltiness, we'll be using the flavor of roasted red peppers and a bit of red wine vinegar for the added acidity. While the name implies its main use, this bad boy works really well as a sandwich spread, which is great because this dip lasts for up to 5 days in the fridge, so you can make it ahead of time and use it throughout the week. The main ingredients are smoked paprika, milk, roasted peppers, a clove of garlic, feta cheese and extra virgin olive oil. Usually I prefer to use a 2 to 1 ratio of roasted peppers to feta by weight, but it all comes down to personal preference. Add less peppers for a thicker consistency, or add more for a smoother texture and a plus of roasted pepper flavor. That being said, let's go through the recipe. In a small dish, add 2 teaspoons of red wine vinegar, then cut a clove of garlic into thin slices and let them sit in the vinegar until needed. Using home roasted peppers as I am, then you'll need to deseed them and remove the stem. The easiest way to do this is under cold running water. I'm not too concerned about the loss of flavor as these were recently defrosted from the freezer. Start by crumbling 220 grams or 8 ounces of feta in a food processor. Add 2 tablespoons of milk. Then add the vinegar and garlic mixture we prepared earlier and one and a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, then you should add all the roasted peppers in. That is 450 grams or one cup. Now run the mixer only until the feta cheese starts to get broken down. Stop and add one teaspoon of salt. Make sure you don't add too much because the feta should be pretty salty, so we can adjust the saltiness at the end if needed. Continue by adding three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and in my case I ended up adding the missing roasted peppers for the total of 450 grams as mentioned before. Mix everything on high until it reaches a smooth consistency. Now just look at that vibrant color. That's the consistency I like. So my favorite way to use this dip is to make it the star of a charcuterie board. Even though feta is a Greek cheese, I like pairing this dip with Italian flavors. And this is the supporting cast. Compose your board, taking into account these base elements. Sweetness and tanginess, represented here by cherry tomatoes and sun-dried tomatoes. And then of course we need some dip delivery systems through the crackers and whole wheat bread. Pre-sliced cured meats for savory and salty goodness an aromatic accent through a mix of fresh rosemary, thyme and basil. And finally, mini mozzarella balls for the flavor balancing of the refreshing taste. Now, to assemble, firstly place the dishes for the dip and wet ingredients, then place the crackers and bread on each corner of the board for easy access, evenly distribute the cold cuts around the board and try to place them in small bundles for the aesthetic. Cherry tomatoes go in the middle, and finish up with a garnish of fresh herbs and a drizzle of olive oil over the mozzarella and feta dip. So let's have a quick taste. So, use some nice bread, you can use to dip in it. You see, that's why I like this texture. Yeah, use actually roasted peppers, try to avoid the over-processed or have been conserved in too much vinegar. My second preferred way to use this dip is as a spread for sandwiches. The smoky flavor, coupled with the acidity of the vinegar and the smooth saltiness of the feta, is the punch of flavor needed to elevate the mozzarella, fresh tomato and cold cuts. Now this is the type of sandwich you'd expect to pay a pretty penny at a local sandwich shop. Well buddy, you're in luck because you're at home so you can make as many as you want without paying through the nose for it. Just break out the leftover dip from the fridge and go to town.
full ingredient list is in the description below along with the recipe link on my new website that shows cooking times, oven temperature, all the ingredients and most importantly step by step instructions which serve as a great companion while you're cooking. Now back to our regular program. So there you have it, a technique that will help you prepare a nice and bougie dinner without having to sit all day in the kitchen. And leave you with enough leftovers that you can just whip up a quick lunch during the week or you know you can just eat it straight from the container so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you're gonna try it out and if you do don't forget to tag me on instagram or leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video consider supporting me by liking and subscribing for more